countries. I'm thinking Egypt, I'm thinking Turkey, I'm thinking Mexico, I'm thinking many other parts of the world where being a journalist, if you do your job properly, is a very dangerous profession. Those that have been killed because they investigated corruption or drug dealing, those that were killed because they were uncovering the truth about illegal activities by armed forces and other groups around the world that consider themselves unaccountable to anybody else. And a number languish in prison as we speak because they've written the truth about what's happening in different parts of the world. Journalists around the world stand together in solidarity with them. And the NUJ, as part of that whole international journalist fraternity, does a great deal to support journalists in this country and the right of free speech and the right to know. But we're also mourning the death of Laura McKean. Lyra was in Derry, she was observing what was going on and she was shot dead next to a police vehicle. And in her memory we had a very big funeral for her in Belfast two weeks ago. That funeral was a coming together of all the communities of Northern Ireland, coming together in her memory and out of respect for her. So today, let's remember the importance of having a free press, having journalists who are prepared to go more than just an extra mile to find out the truth that the rest of us might know. Sometimes for people in public life, effective journalism can be uncomfortable. If that's the case, then it shows that journalism is working. Nobody holding public office or in public life should ever be too comfortable because they're only there on behalf of the people that have put them there. And journalists are part of democratic accountability. My solidarity with journalists all over the world doing a tough and difficult job in the best way they can. Mm -hmm.